Well, you made it to part two of this never ending Quadruma Jet uh, extravaganza build off. So far, we built one that worked great. Um, we've got a couple left. A lot of building to do, a lot of testing to do. Um, so let's get to it and see if these other ones will even work on this thing or leave me dead on the side of the road, which is probably more likely than the other options. Stay tuned. Well, this whole carburetor extravaganza just got more interesting. My tags are due. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, this is past emissions two years <clears throat> in a row now since I bought it back uh, from the guy that I sold it to. Are we going to go for a third time? I guess we're going to really find out what this carburetor can do, huh? What we're going to do is we're going to turn these mixture screws all the way in until this thing will just barely idle. And that's going to be, that's going to keep our carbon monoxide down. Now for hydrocarbons, we're just gonna pray our plugs aren't fouled out and our wires are good enough and our cap and rotor is good enough to keep the hydrocarbons down. And then we'll see if this turd will pass emissions. All right, we got it running like crap. Barely has enough fuel to idle. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. Um, Hopefully this will be enough to get us through emissions. All right, we're here. Let's see if we pass. Here's the official test score. Yes, you pay attention to this. This concerns you. Uh, so, idle standard was 400, I'm guessing that's parts per million. Uh, we flew in at 5.0, uh, our precondition standard was 300, we blew in at 3.00, um, so yeah, good enough to pass emissions with a worn out, crappy old full of mud quadrajet card. Dude, aren't you gonna congratulate me instead of just sticking your butt at the camera? He don't care. Well, Mitz, we passed the missions, huh? Uh, we get to legally drive for another year. Sweet. So now that our Jeep is running good and passes emissions, let's go ahead and just rip that carburetor off and put something else on there. I have no idea what it's gonna do. So now, it's time for the next carburetor. Well, stuff. We passed emissions, huh? With an old, worn out carburetor full of Tucson mud. That's pretty neat. I didn't even touch the float. That's pretty cool. Well, check out these awesome clouds, guys. I don't know if it's gonna storm or what. Should I try to swap on another carb? In the middle of a rainstorm? I mean, why the heck not? I mean, you don't get to change a carburetor in a rainstorm every day. Especially in Tucson. Oh, look at that sheet picking up, guys. All right, Wolf. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? So, wow. The temperature just dropped to like 65 degrees or something. I cannot believe how nice it is. This is unheard of. So, let's get this guy out. I don't know if I can one hand it. Oh God, yeah. There we go. Set you right here. Who's next? Let's do this one last. Cause this doesn't have a choke and that will have to be plugged with something. 
because that hole goes right to the air cleaner. Um, let's mess around with this guy. We're gonna have to hose him off a little bit. Got some. I thought I cleaned this thing. Who did the half-hearted cleanup job on this thing, huh? Couldn't have been me. Look at this. Tested. Yeah, well, we're going to test her again right now. I wonder if there's a filter in there. All right, let's get this on. Boom. I love that sound. It's the sound of a carburetor going on a hot rod Jeep. My kind of sound. Uh, and of course, and of course, there's a filter mono in here. Uh, yeah, that looks horrible. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to clean that out before we run fuel. That's the one thing I did not check. Time for another episode of Life Hacks by John Rodriguez. So, I can't spin this fast enough by hand to clean this crappy old quadrajet. What do I do? This is perplexing. We're gonna cut off this eyelet and stick this right on the edge of the drill and spin the sucker about 7,000 RPM. You'll see. It's gonna work good. Looks brand new inside. All right, fuel's pumping. No leaks, everything's holding, float is holding, it might run. All right, let's hook it up. All right, let's give her the beans. Everything seems to be working. Those are good. I have no idea where the idle's at, where the mixture screws are at. This is probably gonna leak. All right, let's hit it. Neutral. All right, fellers, here goes. I think she's cold. We loading up? No. Give her some more idle. It needs a choke really, really bad. I don't feel like hooking it up. Manual chokes are a pain to hook up when you have electric choke. So let's just give her a bump here. Like I said, I have no idea where anything is set. Let's give her a bump. Seems like she'll work. Yeah, vacuum leak. Look at that. Yeah, let's plug that. All right, doesn't run that great. I think there's a vacuum leak. The gaskets on this car were really mismatched, so I think it messed up the idle circuit. But it's running enough to where we can drive it. Let's at least see if it'll drive. Uh, we're running out of daylight. I kind of want to get to the last carburetor, so let's try it. Wow, yeah, it runs bad. This carburetor runs bad. I don't even want to idle. Yeah, this one, this one, we got the wrong gaskets. Let's see if she'll go. <laughs> yeah, this carburetor is not happy. This carburetor is kind of a loss, huh? Runs horrible. Oh, we're broke down. All right. 
<laughs> okay, let's just immediately take this carburetor off and get to the last one. This one is bad. Oh god, what if it doesn't start? <laughs> it didn't even want to start now. Okay. Yeah, this carburetor is not good. Do do do. So, what were you gonna do today? Ah, nice leisurely drive. Yeah, I didn't have the right gaskets for this one. All right. Well, maybe. I think we can get the third one on here quickly. Yeah, she ain't gonna run. Oh, this ice cream truck's in my way. Ugh. I could have made it home if it wasn't for that ice cream truck. Or not. Let's see if she'll start. Yeah, this carburetor is history. <laughs> okay, emergency carburetor to the rescue. All right, here's the last one. Let's see if it'll work. My Jeep's way over there. <laughs> uh, how did I go from passing emissions to being stuck on the side of the road? So this is the good pass emissions carburetor. Probably put the, I think this is the one I'll probably end up running anyway. Or maybe the original because it's got the manual choke, which I like. But let's just put this one on and see if it'll get home. It's on. New one's on. And let's do a float test. Alright, no leaks. Pump's running. Cool. <laughs> This is what happens when Miss Junkyard Jeep is gone at night and I have nothing to do. I do stupid things like this and get into trouble. All right, let's check it. Oh, geez, what the heck? All right. Fuel. Oh, sorry, we got nothing. Here's some gas. Oh, here it goes. Oh, that sounds good. Oh yeah, that sounds good. All right, let's tune her up. Okay, bye Jeep, I'll be right back. I gotta get my drill. Because of that. No bracket, you drill a hole. Any questions? This is fun for me though, getting out of jams using my wits. And of course, the very last carburetor had to be a rescue. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting having to use it to rescue myself on the side of the road, but hey, why not? Uh, we'll see if she'll we'll see if she'll rip. Dang, man, runs good. Holy crap. Let's see how she accelerates. Dude, she's just idling. Well, I spoke too soon. She idles, but she don't want to rev. Uh, is my accelerator pump shot? Oh boy, what now? This carburetor's not happy either. Let's see if we can make it around the block. Okay, we won't be using this one. This one either, I suspect. I think I might have the wrong gaskets in her. I did not have any of the right gaskets. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, 
I think we got a mismatched gasket blocking a, blocking a small port somewhere or something. Will I make it to the around the block? I'm not sure. Yeah, this one's bad too. Let's see if we can get to the light. accelerator pump I'm not sure well what is she clear out uh, we'll see oh look at the moon I blame the moon for all this nonsense well I think with some fine tuning and the right gaskets this thing could work pretty good Idle's great, uh, it's just got a real bad stumble. And then it clears out. So I'm gonna put the old first carburetor back on here. Cause that's got my manual choke and that'll be that. Well, here we are in the studio. That must mean end of episode conclusion. So, we bought four carburetors. Not three, but four. One you haven't seen yet. That's the next episode. That carburetor went on my is going went on my black Jeep. So out of the four carburetors, two were good. One could be fixed. I think we had wrong gasket on one of them. The the, the base plate throttle uh, throttle plate gasket was wrong. That thing probably would have worked fine. But two of them worked excellent. One even passed the missions. Then, so the fourth carburetor you're going to see on the next episode of Junkier Jeep where we put it on my rock crawler. And that will be the next episode of reuse all your old part on your piece of crap quadrajet Jeep yard part truck. Worst outro ever. <laughs>